I've said it before and I will say it again. I am not a fan of hair gel, honestly. I, I, it's just not something that I want to use. But you say, why are you doing this video? I'm doing this video because I want to show you that actually you can do quite a lot with it. Although it's not my go-to product, I know a lot of you will have a hair gel, you've been experimenting with hair gels. So I'm gonna show you how to do a full hairstyle routine with just gel. Now, if you're new to this, wondering who I am, then hi, I'm Robin. This world here on YouTube is man from self. If you like hairstyle how-tos, hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, haircut tutorials, then this channel is for you. Press subscribe right now. Okay, we are fairly lucky to have lots of different varieties of gel from the cheapest sort of 20p, couple of cents, dollars, wherever you are, up into stuff which is far more expensive and far more premium. A gel really is sort of categorized and characterized as being a water-based product. A water-based product that will go in and dry hard. Really, it's a product that can fix your hair as well as styling it. Now, one of the reasons that I've not always liked hair gels is because when they dry hard, they can go flaky. You've got absolutely no movement to the hair. But some of the products here that I've got won't give you that flakiness. So, let's style with... I'm gonna go sort of, let's go mid-range. I'm gonna go for American Crew. Um, this one, I think, I believe, it will be linked down below. It's around about the $6 mark. It's about 10 pounds. It's, it's not hugely expensive, but it's a good product. So, we're gonna get onto the hands. You can see there already, it is very jelly-like. As with all the sort of hairstyles and hair products that I use, we're gonna layer. So you can either put this into sort of damp hair or towel dried hair like I've got. I'm gonna smooth it in. Back in the day when I was like 14 and I was experimenting with hair products, that's the kind of Saturday I had. I would um, put gel in my hair and kind of make it into these pineapple sort of spikes and it would dry hard. I thought it looked amazing, it didn't. But now I know there's other ways of doing this, like in the way that I'm gonna use this as a pre-styler. So we're gonna saturate the hair, and then I'm gonna grab a hairdryer, and I'm gonna go for a low heat here. I'm gonna go for a low heat, not a medium heat, not a high heat, because I don't wanna dry it out. Gel will dry hard, so we're gonna move quite quickly. And when we're doing this, I'm gonna use my hand first of all, and I'm gonna work it across. I'm not gonna go for huge volume, but I'm gonna go for something a little bit more neat, a little bit more regimented, and probably something a bit more formal. So, temperature right down, and fast speed, I'm gonna to start to work through. Okay, we are starting to dry, so that's why you need to move quickly. One thing you'll notice about gel is if you're a guy with thinning hair or very fine hair, stay away from gel. Gel will make you kind of see into the scalp. So I'm gonna try and sort of cover this up slightly with the styling, but it's at this point that I'm gonna grab a comb, or you can even use a brush, whatever you've got to hand, and I'm gonna to start to work it across. So really from the right parting on the recess, which is right here, straight across. Okay, so the hair dryer has allowed me to build in the volume, but it's also helped to start to direct the hair. So my hair is dry. You can see there is no flakiness, there's no crispiness, and that's because this is a good quality gel. If you're using any of those super cheap stuff with the huge tubs, you will start to feel that flaking. So keep that in mind. Okay, next, we're gonna grab more of the product. Surprise, surprise. A little bit more into the hands about a pea-sized, very large pea, about a pea, into the hands, and I'm gonna smooth through. And work down on that part, a very messy part. I'm someone that struggles with a parting, but you can't have it all. And actually, this is when I say I really, really like a messy parting, I do think it keeps it casual. And then with this other hand, just sweeping through. Now that we've got the real sort of foundation of the hairstyle in, I'm gonna take a bit more. All about the layering. Being careful on that part. 
and again gel does dry hard so you need to know what you're doing here and move at a, a good speed. Okay, right now that that is in place, this is when you could leave it and you might want to use a little bit more gel onto the hands and just smooth away any sort of flyaways or you could start to have a little bit more fun. This is my type of fun again. And it's when you might want to add a little bit more texture. So you could literally just take index finger thumb and go a bit PC where you sort of pull it away from the front like this. And you actually could go for something a little bit more of that sort of 20s vibe where you could pull it forward, which I quite like. And you might even do something like this sort of gentle curl. Or you could go again huge. Could be here for hours, but I am just really finishing this up. I like this curl, I like this wave. We've got the great volume from the hair dryer, and then just using the gel just to add a little bit more drama. I'm gonna say drama. Stick with me here, guys. A bit more drama into the hair. Drama. <laughs> There's lots of drama in this hair. <laughs> gonna have to wash out the drama later. Okay. Oof, I don't know what's in this gel, but I'm getting an eye off it. So, very 90s. We've gone a bit Leo in um, Romeo and Juliet, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Then you'd wash your hands, it's a bit sticky. But that is it. So although I'm not a gel fan, I've shown you, you can do a full hairstyle out of it. Just one product, the hair is not gonna move, doesn't need hairspray. We used it for pre-styling, styling, and fixing right there. But thank you very much for watching. As I say, everything is linked down below in the description. Also, come across to manfromstuff.com. If you like products, you wanna explore the world of hair products, we've got loads on there. Hair products and putty, pastes, waxes. We've also got fragrances and skincare, so check them out. But thank you again. Make sure you press subscribe. Also, that notification bell button should be on. And if you wanna keep in the loop, then the Man For Himself newsletter is where it's at. It will be linked down there, also up there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.